morning folks. It's Sunday, it's the 4th of February and we're here at the plot. So I was here yesterday uh, doing some work. I didn't do much filming um, just because I wanted to crack on um, and get some stuff done just because the rugby was on and I wanted to go home and watch that. But I'll show you now what I did yesterday. Right then guys, we're at the allotment. Strawberry bed that we did last week seems to be doing okay. Doesn't seem to be too much damage or destruction to the plants, and they all seem quite happy at the moment. I have just noticed we've got some more flowers coming, which is interesting. But like I said, as you can see, they all seem to be doing fine, which is fantastic. Hi guys, we're at the allotment now. Um, so today we've been to see Homebrew Griffo. Um, I'll put a link to his channel down below. He has got some chickens, so he's kindly given us his chicken poo um, and hops and things that he uses when he's doing his brewing. So he's kindly donated them to us, so I thought I'd stick them straight in the bed because um, they're going to compost down in there anyway. I'm not going to use this bed for a little bit. <coughs> So uh, I thought I'd stick them in um, straight away really and we'll spread them out and see how it goes. Right then, it's taken me a little while but we've mixed up all the uh, the hops and the chicken poo and what have you. We've given it all a good mix in the bed and we spread it out um, fairly evenly. So this will mulch down um, into compost um, eventually. There's quite a few worms in there as well. i around now just to show you what it looks like today. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous day here in Barry. Absolutely gorgeous. You can tell spring is in the air. So, what did we actually do? So this is the bed you saw um, the chicken manure and that going into. So we filled that one up. We also built this bed. And we filled that one. That one is just the compost from some of the other um, smaller beds that we had, so that's just from them, and we made this long bed, now, so this long bed, I don't know if you can see that, the sun's really bright, um, originally I made the smaller bed, so the same size as those ones, but I realised there was a space here, and I thought, am I going to get that much in, so I've decided to make a longer bed, now, as you can see, it's not getting a huge amount of sunlight, um, so I'm not sure what we'll put in there, if anything. Um, but we need to cut down the trees as well. So yeah, that's, uh, that's these beds then. That's good. And then obviously we've got some more to come in here before we move up to the next level. So I'm going to crack on. Okay, today's plan is, in theory, to fill up the new big bed behind me, if I can and to build some more um, beds for the rhubarb and the uh, asparagus so that's today's time and what I might do later, I'll give you the normal plot tour Hey then guys, I'm knackered now I'll show you what I've done and there's a match Okay, so the beds that were here, I've taken the boards off sort of there um, taking the boards off and I've created another raised bed so we've got another one in here this one was a nightmare just because the allotment now starts to go up at an angle so to try and get it anywhere near straight and level is a nightmare but it'll do for now and what I'll do next year later on this year when we get more wood is I'll put another layer on this one just so it's a bit taller a bit more of a raised bed but you can see the sort of stuff we were digging out, it's just pure clay, it's horrendous, absolutely horrendous. And we've mulched over there with wood chips now. So I've started filling this bed as well. Um, it hasn't done much. I need to get the soil from up there, down here, up there, to down here. So I'll do that now. And we'll crack on. See you in a bit. Right then folks, the three tier strawberry red is now complete. I had a bit of a nightmare if I'm honest. If I get in close up. Not really thinking about it. This bit's slightly higher than the rest. So I lined this up with the lower. 
So as you can see, we've got a massive gap, which isn't a major issue, um, if I'm honest, but it just looks a bit untidy, so I'll probably end up filling that with a bit more um, soil. So I'm just filling the top layer up now. The strawberries that were in here, I don't know if you remember from the last video that went across, I've taken them out and popped them in that side. So all I'm going to do now, these are the strawberries that we've got in these buckets from two years ago I think they were. I'm going to take them out now and pop them over there. I won't film it because it's rather boring and I'm sure you've all seen it before. So I'll, uh, I'll show you once I'm done. Right then guys, I'm done for the day. I'm absolutely knackered. Uh, it's been a perfect weekend. Quite, um, uh, quite happy with what I've done and what we've accomplished this week, which is good. Um, moving forward now, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I need to get some more wood and some more compost from somewhere or manure or something. So I'm gonna have a little look this week for that. I'll give you a little um, tour of the plot in a moment. So yeah, it's getting there. There's uh, definitely light at the end of the tunnel. Um, later this week, I'll upload another video. Uh, just with some thoughts and some ideas and um, some questions really so um, keep an eye out for that but thank you for everyone for watching and um, subscribing I really appreciate it but I'll show you the plot now just show you what we've done okay starting at the top of the plot nothing's happened up here oh wait that's a light so all my onions I had drying out they've all gone squidgy and soft and that um, so they're rubbish, but I found in the uh, greenhouse area, in there basically, some garlics that have started sprouting. Just quite happily, so um, I'll keep them now till next week, and I will um, plant these out. But there's quite a few, there's another way. Uh, I've got some more, I think they're in there. I'll sh show you now. Okay guys, so just in the little greenhousey thing, here's the garlic. And as you can see, it started, these are just ones I grew last year and we just haven't eaten yet. Uh, they've started sprouting, so we'll end up planting them, I think. This one's just about to start as well, as you can see. So next week, we'll get these out and get them planting. Little lavender plants doing well, and then these are just pots from last year. So yeah, quite happy with that. So that was the garlic. The lavender plants are doing great. I think these are going to come home with me, possibly, because all this, as I've said before, is going. Um, so I might plant them out, we'll see. Raspberries here, not much is happening at all, which is fine. Temporary bed over the asparagus, um, that was just to know where they are, because I kept walking over it, so it's just to know where they are. Nothing's happened with the greenhouses yet. These raspberries doing all right as well. Rhubarb is coming up nicely. You know spring's on the way when the rhubarb starts coming. So that's quite happy um, at the moment. Uh, the other ones have started as well. I don't know why you can see that. But they're all coming up, which is um, bloody fantastic. So in terms of the plot as a whole, it's not looking bad. I'm quite impressed with myself even if I do say so. So these were where the single beds were. So we had one there, there, one here, one here, one here, and then the leeks and garlic. I'll shoot them in a minute. So we've dug out all the soil um, from these and we've just popped it in our new beds that we've built this weekend and I'll show you them in a bit. Leeks are doing alright. Um, that one's doing fantastic. I might pull that up just to see what it's like really and how far down it goes um, but they're all doing good hey then guys that leak I've just had a little bit of a dig down and he seems to be quite good to be honest he's really far down I think that's the end yeah there's the root system there so he's not doing too bad so I will leave him um, another couple of weeks just to see how he gets on but I'm quite impressed with that seeing as these weren't that good the first week the uh, first time they went in and we started coming again this year so we'll see what happens with them now over here I had garlic in here last year and obviously I've missed quite a few out 
um, because if you dig down gently he says they've started uh, here you go we've started getting some more coming up so I think I'm going to move these um, next week as well um, that way then we can tidy up to this area and use all the soil as well because we've got all the glass and stuff in there so fine still a mess over here all the pallets and that's so why I need to get in and sort all this out um, yeah just need to sort it out pump off the open air one it's doing great we used some of that today um, there's still quite a bit of grass mulching down so we won't use all of that just yet so this is the long raised bed that we've got we started filling that up but like I said there was grass in the composter so we haven't used it this one we've just put in place ready so that's all solid and ready to go and filled up and then you saw earlier these ones and then finally the uh, three first of the three tier raised beds for the strawberries so we haven't filled up completely we've got all of this top area and some space sort of by there put more strawberries in so I'll order them um, as soon as I can to get them in but they all seem to be quite happy in there we've still got a pile of wood chips left um, to use and put out fig tree not much is happening with this started to put on a little bit of growth and get the tips going same here so not much is happening with that at the moment so as you can see guys we've got quite a bit going on at the minute i'm quite happy with the progress it is february now um, which i can't believe so hopefully we'll have a few beds ready at least ready for spring um and that we started mulching and wood chipping around here around the raspberries and where there's lots of grass growing but nothing happening with that you saw earlier i got rid of the two pots of strawberries there and they're now in there from there there. Uh, gooseberry plant we are going to plant this out I haven't decided which bed yet to put it in um, if anyone's got any suggestions so the sun comes from over there and ends about there ish so this side of the plot gets a lot more light than that side so I'm thinking my garlic right at the end over there and then possibly the gooseberry plant around here somewhere but I don't know any suggestions this raspberry I need to trim down as well but yeah that's about it guys um, there's not much else to show you uh, like I said I haven't done much filming this week um, just because we were I wanted to get the building going really just so we're ready for uh, the spring and so we can start planting stuff out so hopefully next week now I'll do a lot more filming um, and show you some bits and bobs that I will be doing and we've started planting up some of our seedlings like the chili plants all indoors um, so we've started planting them out which um, if I get a chance I will show you but yeah I'll uh, catch you next week next uh, I'll catch you next week guys thanks for everyone for liking the video subscribing um, really appreciate it and I'll see you soon